hier wir die Ersatzbrücke über das Lahntal. The replacement bridge over the Lahn River is being built right here. And it's actually one of the major north-south arteries we have. So that makes it a vital part of road traffic in western Germany. We're working with the Terex CC3800, which we set up with an LF1 configuration, with an 84-meter main boom, 225-ton counterweight, 50-ton central ballast, and 325-ton superlift counterweight. We're using it to lift bridge components that weigh up to 140 tons. Today we're lifting span number 11 out of 12. In addition, we're lifting one of four longitudinal girders between the bridge's 10th and 11th axes. More specifically, four girders that weigh between 130 and 140 tons. The bridge components are 54 meters long, and we're using a maximum radius of 46 meters when lifting them. There are some particular challenges involved here. The length of the components, the surface area that is exposed to wind forces, and the tight space conditions. Today's lift is unique since it's being done over the lawn. We were actually able to use mobile cranes for previous lifts, but the topographical situation here means that we have to work with a crawler crane. The lift was challenging. Things were tight. We needed to swing into position. The bridge was in the way, so we had to swing back again, rotate the load, adjust the height, and luff the main boom. Things finally worked out after that. Despite its size, the crane is pretty maneuverable, which made it the best choice. The crane is tremendously stable and can be controlled with amazing precision, so you can swing loads into position exactly the way you need to. And on top of that, every single movement is perfectly smooth, so the load just stays in place. I mean, all in all, I'm a huge fan of Terex, and this crane is just another example of why. It's a great crane, rock solid.